Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How you doing? Hi the kids. I'm Q the Costa Rican coach of the Chicago Dragapults. Oh no, not wearing the hoodie. That's a big yikes. Are we still zoomed in from before? We are. Hello. No longer zoomed in. I was recording something else earlier, which you may or may not see on the channel uh, this soon. But yeah, either way, we're in the UPA week four of the UPA. I believe we haven't done week four yet. We are a little bit behind schedule. Um, so this may not go up on Friday. You may not be watching this on Friday, but rest assured the latest you'll be watching it is Sunday, I think, in my opinion. But either way, we're for go in the UPA going up against, um, coach of the Vancouver Titans. I believe his name is Jack. I think his YouTube name might be Gravy. Uh, but either way... Yeah, we're going up against uh, the Vancouver Titans. Our man's got quite the wild team. Let's talk about him. He has Dark Type Urshifu, Urshifu Single Strike, Broken Pokemon. He's got Zero Aura. That duo right there is just so insane to think about trying to break through. And then we see Tangrowth, who is also another bulky Pokemon. Gardevoir, who if he does bring it, I think it's going to be Scarf today. Scarf or Salt Vest. Swampert, who is, we love Swampert. We have Swampert in the BBL. Love that man. Uh, Th Tornadus Incarnate, who can be very annoying. Colossal, who could be his Hazard Setter slash Cinderace check. Exploud, who can be pretty annoying with Specs Boom Burst. Quillfish, who I could see coming, but doesn't necessarily have a, a wonderful like matchup here. I could see it for, if anything, just like a U-turn switch in to, to Cinderace and Dragapult and get some like Rocky Helmet chip. Um, Clefairy, who he's actually brought to su some success in this league before, so that's pretty funny. And then G Max Duraludon, which uh. We kind of have the G-Max matchup, but not not really, not really. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll sorry about the impromptu leaving. I really had to use the bathroom. I forgot where we left off. Uh, I think it's something along the lines of his team kind of bops me. Urshifu, Zero Aura. Between Urshifu and Zero Aura, I really only have two checks or counters to them, and they're really not the best. Like, I have Max Defense, Max HP, Primarina. And, you know, it can kind of check Urshifu, but not really, and it, can, it can't check Zero Aura whatsoever. Like, Rotomo can kind of check Zero Aura, but not really either. But either way, here's the team we got going on. Um, we have uh, Leftovers Dragapult, Sub, Will-O-Wisp with Hex and Draco. Don't know why. I don't remember why. I built this team like a week and a half ago. Like I said, I think before, we are fighting a little late with my man here uh, because he was pretty busy in his life, in his personal life. And, uh, yeah, we were supposed to battle a few hours ago, but I overslept. So now we're battling even later. Uh, possibly not even tonight, maybe even tomorrow. But that's none. That you guys don't care about that. Up next, we got Rotomo. This is our definitive, like, switch into Zero Aura, but it's really not because he gets Blaze Kick. And Close Combat's also doing damage. Um, this is also our Quillfish answer. Not really because it gets Poison Jab, but this is somewhat of our Quillfish answer. We should always be faster. And we could, we're max speed, max. I think we're just max speed, max uh, HP. And we could always, um, uh, actually, we might be max speed, max special attack. It might just be super offensive. But yeah, we got Toxic over will o -Wisp today, mainly because I wanted a, a way to Toxic Colossal. Um, because I'd rather burn Tangrowth, Zero Aura, and Urshifu, obviously, but I'd rather Toxic Colossal, which was the main thing. And, uh, and the only thing I can't Toxic is Duraludon and Quillfish. And if I'm in front of Quillfish, I'm Volt Switching. And if I'm in front of Duraludon, I'm probably Volt Switching as well. Or Defogging, depending on what happened. But, uh, yeah. Up next, like I said, we got Max Defense, Max HP, Primarina with the Rocky Helmet to hopefully get some chip on the Urshifu, no matter what move it goes for. Um, and, yeah, so Moonblast will always, obviously always Avenge Kill, Skull to get those cheeky burns. And, yeah, Rest, Sleep, Talk for Longevity. So, yeah, that's what we got going on here. Up next, we got Go Tanks. This is clearly our end game. If we get up a Airstream with this man and we're at enough HP, we can kind of just do work. Powerball, high jump kick, goes in on the entire squadron. Bounce uh, to get max airstream. And then Zen headbutt to have a way to hit the Quillfish super effectively. Because otherwise we don't. And it's kind of problematic. And then up next, this is a force bring. I'm bringing it. I'm, I'm bringing it. I don't care. We're bringing Nikki Lego with the power herb. Max speed, not max special attack. Enough special attack so that it undervalues our speed. So that way we get a speed boost upon getting the beast boost instead of getting a special attack boost so that we could potentially either early game sweep or late game sweep depending on what pokemon we see if we don't see duraludon this pokemon can just go in i may just lead off with it and see what happens if he does bring duraludon i'm gonna have to try and prioritize getting rid of that in order for this set to even want to go in at all 
Uh, mainly because our best move to hit it is Dazzling Gleam, which I guess I could have over Grass Knot. But in the event that he has Swampert in on me, kind of want to Grass Knot it and one-shot it. And then last but not least, we have Boomba Let's Miss Boomba Laddie, even though it's a dude. Uh, with the Oblivious ability, don't know if that was what it was supposed to be. <laughs> Holding the Choppleberry with Body Slam, Body Press, Wish, and Toxic. Holding the Choppleberry because with my spread... I can switch into Adamant or Shifu's Wicked Blow into close combat, live, and knock out him from with body press. As long as he's like at least at 80%, I think, is what it is. Um, but yeah, and then we got a lot of HP to wish, and then Toxic to Toxic, like the Tang Growth, if that's what it comes down to, or the Swamp Bird, or something like that. So yeah, that's what we're going on here. Uh, we're going to be fighting my man. Um, I'm about to go check out his real name. Hold on. I guess it's just Gravy. So, yeah, man, we're going to be fighting my man here very shortly. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you all when the battle starts. I forgot to use face cam in the UPA. Got to remember that. All right, and we are back. And this is the team I do believe that we're using for the UPA week four. And I don't remember if I said this in the intro or not. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of... Uh... I just really hope he doesn't bring Urshifu and Zeror. If he does, we kind of just lose, I'm just going to say. I'm just going to say it. I've said it, so it must be true. My lips look really chapped on camera, but it's a whatever, dude. It's whatever, dude. Not wearing the hoodie either, so that's already bad luck. So, I don't like my chances in today's match, not going to lie. Uh, mainly because of um, the potential team my man can't be bringing, but mostly because I'm not wearing my hoodie. And I could have changed it. Definitely could have changed it. Let's see. I'm going to say good luck, have fun in the chat and then get my uh picture ready to snap a picture bro get my picture ready to snap a picture all right see how it goes man who took us a while to connect because he is over the pond as they say um but i, I think i think uh hopefully it'll be okay in the battle i know i'm a guy i just watched i can't remember whose match it was but i watched somebody's match in one of the leagues that i'm in and, bro, the lag in between every, literally every single turn was immense. Like, oh, my God. They had, they both had enough time to calc literally everything. All right, so we saw, so we see quite literally the worst team we could possibly see. Um, literally, like, actually the worst team we could possibly see. Um, so that sucks. Let's see. What are we going to lead? I don't know. I kind of just want to lead Rotomo. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Kind of just want to lead Rotomo. <gasps> no, Duraludon. Nihi Lego can go in at some point. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. So, we're going to lead off with Rotom. Um, and Toxic, the Tango, if that's what he wants to lead with. And probably just, honestly, just fire off a Toxic if he leads off with anything that's not um, the the Quillfish. So, second, first, third. Yeah, I'm just going to lead with Rotomo. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm just feeling it. We already said good luck. Have fun to the chat in the chat. Uh, hopefully, it's a nice, nice game. There is no Duraludon, so that's kind of good for us, in my opinion. Uh, because, you know, you, we have a G-Max, and they don't. So that's pretty cool. Um, Nihilego can potentially late game. Potentially. We just got to get a KO on... We got to get a KO on either the... Um, x the Quillfish, or the Tangrowth. Everyone else... Um, I guess we, yeah, no, we gotta, yeah, the, the, the Swampert's gotta be at low HP in order for us to get a, get a KO on it. If it leads off with it, I'm clicking Leaf Storm. See what happens. Woo! Oh, man, I'm ready, I'm hyped, I'm ready and hyped. Alright, it's gonna be a good one, hopefully. I know in the beginning I said that I didn't have a good chance. But now, I like my chances. Not really. Because the Shifu's there always still kind of messed me up. And he does lead off of Fluffy, which is the Yoshifu, or not Yoshifu. <laughs> Which is the Zero Aura. Now, he could freely Volt Switch. I kind of just want to go for damage. So, I'm just going to leave Storm. I'm just going to leave Storm. I don't really have a, anything else to think about it. Blaze Kick won't knock him out unless he's banded. Which, and I don't even know if it does or not. I guess I could Calc. He does just go for the Volt Switch. So, I kind of wish I would have, um... Kind of wish I would have, um... You know clicked my vote switch myself not gonna lie because he probably goes out in a tang here but even if he goes out in the tang growth i'm just gonna click toxic the next turn then let's see who he went out into pwd which is the x -Bloud. okay pretty cool uh we do get some damage off on that thing now we have one switch in and one switch in only and that is um 
Freaking Niki Lego. We resist it. Hopefully, he doesn't have Psychic. And yeah, we're Volt Switching. I really don't want to go into Niki Lego here, but I mean, I guess it's what we're doing. I guess it's what we're doing. That did damage. He, he's got to be predicting the Niki Lego, right? Like, he has to be. I'm still going to make the play, though. Maybe get up a T-Spike or something. Did he predict me? Probably. Let's find out. Let's find out together. Boom Burst. Okay, never mind. This is probably just Specs Boom Burst. Yeah, it looks like Specs to me. Um, so yeah, no reason to, uh... No reason to do anything out here besides Toxic Spike. This will force in the Quillfish, if anything, so that'd be nice. He does stay in, okay. Oh man, does he have a, like, a, a Psychic type move? Don't tell me. Earthquake! Oh, we died! We're dead. We're dead. GG's, that was fun. Well! <laughs> I should've saw that coming. I should've saw that coming. I also should've knew that he was... I should've knew he was, uh, what's it called? Crap. Now what do I do? Uh, I really do need to keep this guy alive. Kind of need to keep Mans alive here, too. I should have scouted and went back to Rotom. That's what I should have done. That's on me. Damn, we lost Niki Lego. Could have endgame swept as well. Oh, well. That happens. Um... Pre-Marina kind of doesn't allow anyone in besides the what's it called? I'm just gonna go back. I'm just gonna go into. I'm just gonna go into this guy. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm a little upset. So, so I guess he could. Wow, I don't have anyone. To, oh yeah, I do. Okay, I'm just gonna body press. Wow, we got we got played played. We should have we should have we should have scouted for the earthquake. We should have scouted for the Earthquake. Oh, well. That's good prep. That's good prep on my opponent's part, to be honest. Packing the Boom Burst. I should have... If I would have calc to see that I wasn't Specs, I probably would have been more inclined to swap out. We are faster, which is pretty fun. All right, we get a KO on this thing. So, you know... Not the trade you want to see. You know what I mean? A Pokemon that could potentially late game sweep in Niki Lego. Getting traded for a freaking x -Bloud, Really not the best trade. I'm not going to lie. But at least we get big damage off on something else. Puff Daddy is the Quillfish. Okay. I'm just going to go hard uh, Rotom. It's my only play. Oblivious. No, sir. Actually, I guess I could... I could Body Slam first. Yeah, let me Body Slam first. Let's see what he goes for. Hopefully he doesn't Scald Bird me. That would suck. Um, but I'm assuming he might go for jab. But I'm just clicking body slam at this point. They did go for spikes of their own, so that's pretty cool. That's gonna be annoying to deal with. We body slam, though. Do we get a para? No, sir. That did nothing as well. Wow, that did nothing. He could probably just go for another one. I'm gonna go hard road him and just see what happens. Oh, man. I can't believe we lost Niki Lego that soon. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of wild, really. But it is what it is. Now it goes for the poison jab. That's great. Poison me. Just do it. Just do it. Nope. All right, cool. So basically, I get to decide here. Do I go for the KO? Or do I go for the defog? I think I go for the KO. I don't think they go hard, Zera. They could. They could. It would be smart of them. But I'm just gonna click Volt Switch. I think they want it. I think they know they could live a Leaf Storm. Actually, I should have calc to see if they could live a Leaf Storm. Yeah, he's going. He's going hard, Zara. No, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right, cool. How much does Cinderace do to this thing? Um, what's this thing called? What's this thing called? Uh, Tangrowth. I said I wrote down Yang Growth. Tang Growth, Rocky Helmet, two Cinderace. Oh wow, never mind. Powerball doesn't even is is Powerball two EKOs, but obviously not from this range. Um So I guess we go here. Sure. 
sure. And he's gonna knock off my Choppleberry, so that's gonna suck. That's gonna suck. I guess I could wish back Rotom. I guess I could wish back Rotom. But I'm gonna Toxic. Hopefully he stays in. Now he withdraws. Out into the fish. Out of the fish. Yeah, we should have saw it coming, but... Oh my god. Alright, hold on. We gotta get our heads in the game. Cinderace is still a win con. Cinderace is still a win con. Okay. I should have doubled out and eroded him. Cinderace is still a win con, okay? Cinderace is still a win con. That's all we gotta remember. We still have a G Max. We just gotta get this thing lowered. We gotta get um We gotta get um What's that thing called? We gotta get Swampert lowered a bit. We do get the Paralysis. You'd love to see that. Alright, so that's nice. That could prove to be beneficial. I am now going to Wish. He's seen all. He's seen our entire moveset after I click Wish. After I click Wish, he's seen our whole moveset. So there's that. He does stay in. Probably does the Poison Jab again. He's not... Uh, he doesn't have a Rocky Helm, which is nice. So that's good to know. But we have wished. We may as well just stay in and click Body Slam. I wish I was Curse, bro. Almost every single scenario that I've been in, Curse, Curse would have just went in. I should, I should start bringing it. Does go for the jab. Does he get the poison this time around? He does, which I'm okay with. I'd rather be poisoned than toxic. So, and we do get our wish back, which I'd love to see. So I'm just, I just keep going for. I think I just keep spamming body slams. I don't see a reason not to. I really don't. I don't want to switch into this. He knows that. I know that. We all know this as a group. I'm just going to keep clicking Body Slam. If this thing is at low enough HP, that lets that lets Cinderace be able to run free. Hashtag bars. If, uh, yeah. 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 Probably not going to get rid of the spikes. Probably not going to be able to get rid of the spikes. Not going to lie. That's probably a problem that we're going to have to deal with uh, in stride. Spikes are probably going to be there forever. Uh, which kind of sucks for the Primarina rolls to live uh, Wicked Blow and a Poison Jab from Life Orb, Adam, or Shifu. But I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Won't we? Together. Man, I can't believe I let Nihi Lego go down like that. Ugh. I'm so upset. So her debut, too. I'm so upset, bro. Like, literally. I was supposed to debut her today. Did not matter. Hopefully it goes like hard as Shifu and I can body slam pair that thing. That'd be great. He's, 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 he's thinking about what he wants to go for here. He does just stay in. So we're getting damage off. Keeps going for the jab. Okay. That was a crit. By the way. That was a crit. So now he knows I have to wish here, right? He knows that. So he might just try and get in someone for free. He might just try and get Zera in for free or Urshifu. Um, but I can't risk I can't risk him staying in and just jabbing again, so I'm just gonna wish. Um if he does get one of them in, I'm gonna have to run a cow to see if close combat will knock out through my chopple. So he does get someone in. Is it a Shifu? It's fluffy. It is Zera. Alright, so I was right. He does get someone in. So, Licky Licky at 50. Close combat does 21 to 25 if he's if he's jolly. And I am at 90, 79. Alright, so I always live. Alright, cool. So, the close combat's here. Minus one, sp minus one defense. Uh, body slam actually does more than body press. So, yeah, we just click body slam here. Whew. All right, glad we got through that together. I mean, he might just Volt Switch. He might just Volt Switch. He does Plasma Fist. Okay, that might knock me out. Yeah, that'll knock me out. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, I'm hoping... Hold on, was that... Was that, like, Adamant? That might have just been Adamant. Adamant... It has to be, like, Adamant Magnet or something. 
Yeah, Adam and Magnet would have done the trick. Um, don't have a chat. I don't have an answer to this. My answer is the Dynamax of Cinderace, and that's not the play. I don't think it is. Um, do I just do it? No, I don't think I do. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna just start clicking buttons, man. I'm not getting 6 0 I'm knocking somebody out. I'm knocking somebody out, bro. I think I just want to max airstream. I'm knocking somebody out. Right? I think that's the play. I really do think it's the play. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm just 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 doing it. I'm just doing it. He didn't bring his G Max. I brought mine. I'm doing it. He does withdraw, so we get a free airstream. In the Puff Daddy. They should knock you out, I think. Oh, that's tough. I forgot about Intimidate. That's tough. That's tough. Should have Zen headbutted. I threw this game. The game's not over, and we can still win this. But I, like I said, I wasn't confident going in at all, and I think I'm just, I think I'm just, I think I'm quite literally just gonna get bopped. But now we're gonna start fighting now. Um, hopefully this knocks it out. Oh, that did nothing, nothing. Oh, that did nothing, nothing. Okay, I'm just gonna max Knuckle. Man, I wish I had, if I was weakness policy, this would be kind of fire here. I could knock it out with max Mindstorm. Let me just do that. If he goes Urshifu, then he went, he goes Urshifu. Then he's just in my head at this point, right? He's just in my head. Okay, good stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna max knuckle whatever comes in like no whatever comes in I think is the play in my opinion I'm just gonna max knuckle whatever comes in um I'm hoping no Swamper to knock me out bro I wish I was weakness policy actually he does go Greg which is probably pert it's pert so I think I genuinely just max knuckle. I guess Zen Headbutt makes more sense. It's in terrain. Yeah, Zen Headbutt does make more sense. Man, if I was weakness policy, though. Should have been weakness policy. I was weakness policy last week. Like, yeah, I would have got hit by the spikes damage, but I think that wouldn't have been a problem. Especially depending on what move he goes for here. Like, if he goes for, like, Earthquake or Flip Turn. Let's see what he goes for. Stealth Rocks. Okay, so he's smart. This man's smart. That's all that is. This man's just smart. So I think Zen is my best play. Cinderace to Swampert. We're just gonna assume you're defensive, Swampert. So in Psychic Terrain, wow, High Jump Kick still does more. Kind of wild. I shouldn't go for it. Cause he's 100% Earthquaking here. Yeah, and I guess I can keep Cinderace till later. Whatever, dude. I'm I wasted my G Max, but I don't care. I'm going Rotom. Oh, we're not boots. I forgot. Flip turn. Ah, uh. bro. Imagine I was weakness policy. Oh my god, that would have been the best case scenario for it. Yeah, I lost. It is what it is. It is what it is. I know this is probably isn't good for content. I just want to get it over with, to be honest with you guys. I just want to get it over with, to be honest with you guys. Um, I think he might just volt switch here, but in the off chance that he doesn't, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna defog. Definitely should have prepped a lot better for this match. Not to say I didn't prep, because I did prep. I definitely did prep. Knocks off my lefties, but I am dead on the inside and out. Honestly, I don't want to get 5 0 either, but I am genuinely kind of okay with it. 
Um, so basically, he knows I'm boots now. So now I just start clicking Pyroball at this point. Now I think I just start clicking Pyroball. If he wants to go on a Pert, he can go on a Pert. It's, it's the play he should make. You know what I mean? I don't have U-Turn. So, or oh, you can just Volt Switch. That's smart too. Hopefully we can get a Cheeky Burn on this Pert. That'd be fun. Cheeky Burns. Cheeky Burn. Wish I would have stayed in. If I knew he was going to flip turn, I should have stayed in. Oh well. Cheeky burn? That's all I'm asking for. Cheeky burn. No, sir. Alright, well, high jump kick doesn't get the job done. And I don't really have a switch into this anymore. So... The weirdness disappeared from the battlefield. If only I had... He saw my whole moveset. He knows I don't have U-turn. I guess I can go prim. Like, I guess... I guess I can go Prim. Get some Rocky Helmet Chip on this thing, you know? The works. Honestly, he just flips turns into Zero over here and just wins the game, I think. Oh, yeah, I lost, lost. Yeah, he just flips turns into Zero over and just wins the game. I'm cool with it. It's what's gonna happen, so. Like, there's a chance, I guess, if I can... Let's see, how do I win this? If I can live a Plasma Fist, that's my only play right now. If I can live this Plasma Fist, which I don't think I can. But I, I will rest, just in case I can. Um, Plasma Fist, Magnet Boosted, probably Adamant. No, sir, there was never a chance. Yeah, like I said, man, we lost, lost. Shifu didn't even have to come out, bro. Like, it, like we just got bopped, bopped by a lot of things. That's all really that happened. Um, yeah. Like, Plasma Fist probably takes out, takes out Cinderace here, too. So. We'll just, um, we'll just Powerball. Plasma Fist probably takes us out, like I said. And Dragapult can't win in the end game because we're, we're, we're Hex Willow. So, yeah, we're just going to deal with it. Deal with what happened today. Not a good showing for us in the UPA today. Not going to lie. Hopefully, um, I don't remember what. This is week four of the UPA. So, hopefully, week four of uh, BBL is a lot better. And hopefully, whatever week we're in the IBA at this point is good too. But, yeah, man. At least we get the. I mean, we potentially give Zero Aura the thumbnail. You know, that's going to be fun. At least I also get to drop a Draco. I'm just going to do it. Because why not, right? I'm just going to drop one. Man, getting 5-0 never feels good. We were doing well in the UPA, too. Like, we were actually doing pretty well. But, to no avail. To no avail. I'm just going to drop a Draco, because I can. Like, if he wants to solidify the W, he could go, uh... Hard tank growth, but he just chooses to knock off, which is probably the better play. Yep, there it is. He might have had extra belt. Nah, Matt, he was, he was magnet. He was magnet. So, yeah, man, GG's to uh, my opponent. GG, man. GG, man. Did not play well at all. Did not play well at all. Not gonna lie. So yeah, that's uh, man, not not good for content. That's gonna be UPA uh, week four, I believe. Like I said, very very underprepared. Not to say we didn't prepare, we definitely did. But I I just like no matter how many calcs I ran, I could never I could never get over, I could never I could never get over the the, the offensive pressure that Zero Ori and Ashifu put in. Even though Ashifu never saw the field, Zero Ori just did it by himself. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Um. If y'all like what you saw, saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Make sure you go check out my opponent. Link to his channel in the description down below. As well as all the other coaches in the gosh dang UPA in the description down below. We're going to get up out of here. If y'all like what you saw, saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Peace.